The Zeebo likes to talk about life while he's shooting people in the face. The Zeebo. What is going on, everybody? It's Lazevo here. You are looking at some Black Ops gameplay. This is some old ass gameplay that I've had for a while, but uh, I've been playing Diablo 3, so I don't really have any gameplay saved up. Uh, other than you know the stuff that's old and on my hard drive, so I figured I'd show you guys this. Uh, it's still still COD gameplay, still Black Ops, and uh, I I have I actually did play that game not not too long ago, and uh, I was enjoying it. So that game still got some playability. But uh, anyway, I don't want to talk about the gameplay. I want to talk about something that came up this weekend. This is just a um, I don't know. It's a topic that or uh, an idea that somebody uh, was talking about this weekend, and. I wanted to bring it up to you guys because I think it's important. And basically what they said is, who are you when no one's looking? Who are you when no one's watching? Another way to put that would be integrity. Um, it's basically saying when you're all alone, when you're by yourself, are you the same person? Do you act the same? Do you, are you, you know, what secrets are you hiding? Are you doing, are you a completely different person, you know? You always hear like, you know, when they catch like a murderer or a serial killer, they interview the neighbors and they're like, oh, we, we had no idea. Like, I, that's so, we, that's so crazy. I don't know. I can't even imagine him being like that. And that's, that's typically because we, we all put our best foot forward. When we're with other people, they kind of keep us in check. Um, you know, I, I guess a good example would be like, have you ever went to like a fast food restaurant by yourself and you get like an extra burger or you get like a large chocolate shake instead of a small or whatever because you're by yourself and no one's watching, right? But yet when you're with a group of people, you don't want to be like a total hog and uh, and so, you know, you might get something small. You might get the grilled chicken or whatever, you know, you might, uh, who knows, whatever. But basically what it, what it is is people around you keep you in check, you know. A lot of times we do things differently when we're by ourselves and that changes you know that's kind of a reflection of our character um and it's something that's really important you find it's really important in the business world it's really important in your personal life and your family life but i try to be as consistent as possible i'm not perfect at it there's things that i do that i know i need to work on but like i try to maintain i want to try to maintain my character the same regardless of who's around or who's looking you know there was a there's an article i read about a year ago where a guy found uh like a package on the ground he's walking down the street i think this was in chicago and he found this package it was uh it contained seventeen thousand dollars i think it was like seventeen thousand and forty one dollars and uh he returned it there was like a like a company name on the outside and he returned it and I guess what happened was there was an ATM, uh, there was a company that stocks ATM machines. This thing fell out and, you know, he's, he stumbled across it first and, you know, he said, he basically said, I've never taken money in my life that wasn't mine. Now, the company basically flat out said that they had no way to track this cash. Like, it was gone. If somebody found it and just spent it, it was gone and they would never find it. And so... It's kind of amazing when you think about it. Seventeen thousand dollars. How many people you know would turn in seventeen thousand dollars? Now I'm the kind of guy that looks at that story and says that that guy did the right thing. You know, that's that's the that's a man of integrity. It's a man of character. That's a, you know, he's someone who has morals and beliefs and fundamental values, and those things don't change regardless of the situation. And I like that. I love that. I think that's how, you know, when you talk about like what a real man should be, real men need integrity. And, you know, it's like uh, Tony Montana says, you know, my word is my balls. That's all I got in this world, you know. Two things, my word and my balls. <laughs> so you got to be like, you got to be a man of your word. And that means doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. You know, and, and don't make commitments that you're not really willing to keep. You know, be honest with yourself. Be honest with others. Um, it's part of having integrity. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you, you know, don't let the circumstances around you change who you are and what you say you're going to do. 
and be that same person when no one's looking, you know, be the guy that turns in that $17,000. I think you're going to end up better off in the long run for that decision. I know some people will look at that and go, that guy's an idiot, you know, he had 17 grand clean, you know, clean and clear or whatever, you know, and he could have just spent it. But I don't know. I, I think, I think in the long run, you're going to be better off, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you believe in, I think, whether it's karma or whatever, you know, I want to be, I want to be the same guy when no one's looking. You know, there's a saying I heard that was went something like this. It said, uh, "Guard your thoughts, because your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your character, and your character becomes your destiny." Now, that's pretty deep <laughs> if you take that all the way back. But basically, what it's saying is that what you say and your what you think becomes what you say what you say becomes what you do what you do becomes who you are and who you are becomes your destiny so there's a con direct connection between your thoughts and your destiny and i think that uh i think that 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 can work for you or against you you know if you keep your thoughts positive if you keep them moral and good then uh your destiny will be positive moral and good and if you keep your thoughts somewhere else where they're not supposed to be or you know on something bad and then uh then that's going to shape you and ultimately you're going to be your destiny will be shaped by those things so i don't know guys just uh i wanted to talk to you a little bit about this because i think i do think it's important like i said it's important in your family life it's important in the business world uh you want to be a person of integrity that should be a goal for that's that's one of the things that i say you know that's what a real man is a real man is a man of integrity a man of his word you're going to stick by it. And so for you young guys out there, you know, make sure make sure you're honoring your word. You don't want to lose that. You don't want to you want people to say, "Oh, he doesn't keep his promises or he doesn't keep his word," you know. And be that same person when no one's looking. Be conscious of that, you know. Am I am I acting the same way? You know, a lot of people have a YouTube persona and I've just never been one to do that. I think I think like you know, I want to be me. I want to be me on this microphone when I talk to you guys and I want to I want to come across that way. If I ever meet you in person, I don't want you to I don't want you to look at me and say, "Oh, this is a different guy. He's not the same guy." You know, I want to be exactly the same no matter who I'm talking to. That's what I try to do at work, and I think that's what I try to do at home and with my family. I just want to be the same guy, you know, to to everyone. I want to be me. I got to figure out like at work, I got to figure out how to do my job but be me. I see a lot of guys become something that they're not at work you know they kind of conform to something i don't know what it is this business persona i mean look at me i'm i'm an, I'm an engineer but uh, i'm playing video games talking to you guys i mean this is atypical for sure but it's me it's who i am and that's what i want to be and uh and i don't want to try to be something i'm not and i don't want other people to try to make me something i'm not so i don't know <laughs> i try to be a man of integrity i think if it's i think it's really important and so um I guess I'll end it with that. Make sure, who are you when no one's looking? Who are you when no one's watching? And uh, just keep that in the back of your mind, guys. And then that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys think how important you guys think integrity is, and where that ranks on your list. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Something that was on my mind. I'm gonna try to bring these to you more often as things like this come up. It's a little bit deeper commentary, but. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for me, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks.